Hello everybody, it's Joe here, and welcome to the bus. I'm nearly getting run over by traffic, so we're just... Oh, look, I see you. Uh, yeah, great start to the video, of course. Uh, nearly getting run over, getting distracted by a train going over the bridge. Yes, here we are. We are down at Zulogische Garten at the Hertz Allee, which should be full of buses, uh, but for one reason and another isn't. We are going to be driving this spectacular Manline City double-decker on uh, on the route, which route are we on? Hang on, how do, how do I do the doors? There we go. And uh, an F7 does the rear doors, lovely. Uh, yeah, we're going to be driving this on the route 100 today, which has been out for quite some time now, uh, a couple of weeks. But as I say, uh, as I've mentioned once or twice, uh, due to me being not here, I've not been able to drive it. There we go, 88502. Let's get that, uh, let's get that on, everybody's here. Uh, press and hold the footprint down. And shift up with the gear stick. There we go, gear stick. Uh, shift up with the with the DNR business. There we go. So let's let everybody on. The bus is going to kneel automatically. Is everyone getting in through the front? Yes, it looks like. Should we have uh, should have a little bit of lighting on? I mean, I don't think we need quite that much lighting. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll just have a little bit of side lighting. There we go. So we are on the route hundred. This is a very tourist kind of line. Um, it goes past all the uh, all the best bits to see, uh, and again, it has kind of got itself a reputation. If you look on the Expedia, is it Expedia? Yeah, I think it is Expedia. Uh, kind of videos, it always does suggest that you go on the Route 100. Uh, it runs to Alexanderplatz, Mimhajstrasse. Uh, so yeah, it's just a short route from uh, Zulogische Garten to Alexanderplatz via all the best things to see in Berlin. Now, uh, we are due out now, so let's get this show on the road. We've got everything sorted in terms of... Uh, there we go, stop kneeling, please. Let's have a bit of indication. Uh, have I... Are we, are we going? Yeah. Press now, foot brake down. Oh, uh, yeah, duh. Turns out, uh, yeah, if you want to set off, you, uh, you have to take the parking brake off. There we go, we've got another lovely IC going over there. I think that's on the S-Bahn line, so if, uh, you know... I'm heavily critical of that because I love this city so much and I just want it to be 100% accurate. Um, but yeah, get the ICE on the other side, you got yourself a deal there. Right, so I can never do this corner, so we're going to ind indicate, doesn't matter what bus I'm in, even in the bendy bus, I could not get round that corner, although I think today you've absolutely nailed it. Uh, dear me. Right, we are off. So Zoologische Garten, of course, this is absolutely fantastic. The only thing that I find with Zoologische Garten, at this moment in time, it just seems to lack a little bit of life um, for this game. Don't get me wrong, I love it, it's great, and obviously I can recognise so many places from, uh, from where I've been. But yeah, it just seems a little bit devoid of life. This place is very, very busy, uh, Zoologische Garten. Right, hang on, there we go. And we've toggled the door clearance as well, so that should mean people are going to get on with uh, with other doors. Does someone need a ticket? No. Nope. Okay, so if I, because I've toggled the door clearance, if I want to get off I can I mean, I think I can do that with, you know I think I can do that regardless of whether I've toggled the door clearance or not. So hopefully that should shut again. I mean, it might not. Uh, are you going to shut? Nope, I have to go do it myself. I have to do everything myself at this flipping place. There we go. Right, get back in. Door shut, please. Thank you. And away we go. So, yep, those of you will recognise this that like Berlin X10, of course, because that goes to uh, to Hertz Ali. We're just pulling out Mr. Van, if you can... Uh, way, hang on. A bit of steering is, uh, is required. There we go. I don't think we'll fit through here. We'll give it a damn good go. No, nope, we're, we're not. No, nope, we're, we're not going to fit. We fit. Look at that. It's all about knowing the size of your own bus. I mean, we're going to clip that curb behind us. But it's fine. It's absolutely fine. There we go. Bit of, uh, bit of hand breakage. And all is good. So yeah, of course, if you're on the X10 or various routes, uh, they go further up. Sometimes now, I mean, when we were in Berlin, we noticed some of the routes, um, they used to turn right and uh, and come up there and drop off. But now they seem to go under that tunnel, under the railway bridge, and turn right at the end to go down that way. Uh, so I don't know kind of why they've 
change that. I don't know, maybe the game's just been wrong. Uh, and OMSI, of course. But yeah, they, they seem to do that now. I don't know if that's like a COVID thing. They don't want too many people at the bus stops all scrunched together. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of what they do now. Right, so we're going round here. This is also the same way that the 200 leaves, uh, leaves Zuluga Garten. The 200 does branch off down here. We carry on forward. And we go past that bus stop with a funny name that I like. I don't actually know how long the route is. To be honest with you, it can't be that long. Only 20 minutes, half hour, if that. I do, however, I am a fan of bright shite plats. Or bright shied plats. Oh, there we go. We're off. Uh because it just reminds me of Bright House. I don't know why. I mean, I've I've never shopped in Bright House, so we won't have anybody spreading vicious rumours. Um, but yeah, Bright Shite Platts. It just reminds me of Bright House. Bright House Platts. And down here, of course, we've got a Saturn on the right. Brilliant uh, electronics store. The Christmas markets at Zuloga Shugarten are all around there. It's really weird, because we went for the Christmas markets, and then we went back in... Uh, where did we go now? When was it? It was it was not that long ago, um, but we went back and uh, obviously with the markets not been there, you're kind of like, oh, that's a bit weird. That's very weird. Oh, you want a ticket? Right, okay. Three euros. Single ticket AB. Thank you, sir. There we go. Get them doors shut. I don't know if they kneel automatically, but they seem to on uh, on this. Right, off we go. Oh, no, no. Oh, you, are you letting me out? Thank you. So, of course, just here, I think at this circular building where it says Kurforum, to go left, or Kurforum, uh, I think that's where the 200 makes a, uh, a little turn to the right, whereas we carry on straight down here. We actually go past the Premier Inn where, uh, where we stayed, which is nice. Beiruter Strasse. Come on, off we go. I love the modelling of the cars on this. That Mercedes E-Class is beautiful. Is it not beautiful? I mean, to be fair, the whole game's beautiful. I love this game. Do I think that this is a better bus simulator than Omsi? I most certainly don't, but that doesn't mean to say that I do not really thoroughly enjoy playing this. I really do. I don't know what it is. I think it's just so much nicer when you can see on a game accurately somewhere that you love so much and I really do love this city if you've you know if you've never been to Berlin make a point of going it's beautiful Oops, someone getting off in the middle there of course the problem with this game is that uh, oh hang on departure oh we're a little bit late that's fine I can cope a bit late way off we go hold on to your hats everybody um, yeah, the problem with this game, of course, is that if you, uh, obviously on the buses here, if nobody presses the button to get off and nobody puts their hand out, then uh, then the bus will just go whizzing past. You can't do that on this. You have to stop at every stop, as far as I'm aware, unless they've changed it. But yeah, you actually have to stop at every stop. I think this is, I think it's just on the left there. I think we've gone past it. Uh, but yeah, Schillstrasse. I think is uh, is where our hotel was. You're getting on, chaps. This is the only bus past here. Oh, it's her from Fernbus. Hello, madam. Guten Tag, wie geht's? Oh no, it's Guten Morgen, isn't it? It's uh, in my finest Yorkshire accent. Single ticket ABC. Thank you. Cheers, love. I don't think they'd uh, they get what that meant. Cheers, love. Now, we need to make a point of getting over to the left here, don't we? Because we go left at these lights. So we're going to just nip out here. And uh, we're just going to nip across into this lane. And we're going to completely cut this van up. There we go. Okay, and I just squeeze my little uh, my little bottom in here. Thank you. Oh, and look at that. They're all moving over for me. And now... Oh, I think I might have hit him. Christ alive, I'm in the wrong lane. But it's fine because we've committed... Everyone else has stopped, but we have committed a traffic offence. Off we go. Straight round. Look at that. 
Ha oh, hell. Oh my god, my steering wheel nearly broke my wrist. Flipping false feedback on that. Christ alive. Just nearly snapped my wrist in the steering wheel. That's no good. Has to be said, I did really enjoy driving this uh, Manline City Double Decker, but I really, really do wish that they'd fix the sound so that you could actually hear the Voith gearbox, because these do have a Voith gearbox, and um, it's just such a shame that you can't hear the Voith on it, because you can in uh, in real life. The engine sounds aren't too bad. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not really getting the realism from it, but don't get me wrong, the bus itself is lovely to drive. Are we full? Yeah, lovely. Yeah, we're two minutes late. Of course we are. Come on then, off we go. There we go, just mind the Volvo. Nah, so the far right hand lane is of course the bus lane, although looking at the... Uh, Looking at those, we want to avoid those, otherwise I'm going to nearly get my wrist broken again. Oh, we've got the functioning CCTV camera, and people actually move randomly. That is great. Look, they just they just move. Oh, Nordische Botschaften. Adenauer Stiftung. That, I, I don't know why that's my favourite bus stop. It's just got a really funny name. Botschaften and Stiftung. Stiftung. I don't know. Oh, off we go. The problem is, is there's quite a bit of, uh, oh, we're on the curb. Do you know what? We're just going to pop back into the bus for the time being. Obviously, I'm not driving fast enough, am I? Because we're lit. God, it's absolutely determined for me to crash this thing. And, of course, you can see the, uh, the column in front of us there. That's the tear garden. Uh, that we're just approaching. Tiergarten's absolutely beautiful. It's like, well, it's a, essentially just an enormous flipping park. And I wonder, false feedbacks trying, uh, I keep smashing it into curbs. Look, those wheels are actually poking out the curb. It's no good, is it? Oh my goodness, my apologies, madam. Madam. Just had to double check there. Sometimes you're not quite sure, are you, on this game? There you go, you've got a ticket. You want one as well. Oh, but now I have to do maths. A, B, C, thank you. Does nobody want a target carter? Right, we're going to go. No, oh, we can't really, can we? We're going to just nip out here. And then hopefully we'll be able to get a nice shot. Because we're not actually... I want to... There we go. I mean, it doesn't have to be, like, beautiful. I'm just literally thinking a cover shot where it shows what we're doing, and I can't see the lights now because they're, uh, they're they're somewhere. Where are they? Just in front of there. We go. Ample man. The uh, the traffic light man there, and uh, yeah, I've got some lanyards with him. I used to wear them for work. You can also get bath sponges. I always wanted some ample man bath sponges. You can have a big red one like that where he's got his arms out, and then you can have the walking uh, the walking man mansion ample mansion. Which is, uh, I believe it literally translates as the man in the lamp. Uh, which is, uh, it's wonderful. But it's like, I mean, people are like, oh, that, that's a bit weird. You know, why why do the people of Berlin... Oh, there you go, you can see the green man over there. Oh, he's just gone. Oh, typical. Um, yeah, like, that's a little bit weird. Why do they make such a big fuss out of a, a green traffic light man and a red traffic light man? But then again, you could flip that on the head. Why do we make such a big fuss in London over red buses and black taxis? And people with Marge Simpson hair, you know, it's it's just part of that city. It's part of the culture. You know, it's uh, it's brilliant. I love everything Ample Man. The problem is, is of course, it's very expensive because it's uh, it's aimed at tourists. And I'm not going to say you get ripped off as a tourist, but you do get ripped off as a tourist. You know what I mean? You really do. There we go. So uh, Grosse Straße, which probably means big street. Oh no, it's not Strasse, Stern. Grosse Stern. Well, Grosse does mean big. I don't know if it's uh, 
don't know if it does in this uh, sense, but I mean the streets around here are very big. Now you can actually, uh, you can come here, you can go up that I think. Is it is it up that? You can go, it might be up, up. I think you can, maybe, I don't know, but you have to pay. Oh, hang on, uh, off we go. Right, hang on, it's a shame you can't pause this, because I'd love to get a lovely shot of us. Hang on, I don't know where I'm going now. Oh, this is all going to pieces. I'd love to get a shot of us in uh, in front of the tear guard. That would be nice if you could actually see what it was. Never mind. Why does my bus sound like a motorbike? For goodness sake. Come on. Get out of my way. Right, hang on. There we go. That's probably as good as you're getting. It's got a bit of the tear garden in, hasn't it? Right, let's just pull in at this bus stop. Oh, my lord, my phone's ringing. Oh, no, it's not my phone. That's fine. Dear me. Right, there we go. I promise you, we've got a nice shot now. We're back to the height of professionalism. You know me. How do you mean? Yeah, we know we know you. Oh, hang on. What's happening? Right, are we all good? Doors are shut. Of course, the rear two doors on these act like a tram. So you, uh, I actually press the button to shut the front door, and then I just kind of energise them for the back doors. There we go. Right, let's get uh, get back up because obviously we're kneeling. Foot down, full steam ahead. Bus lane is at a close. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this game. I just cannot keep up to time or keep with time. Perhaps I'm braking too lightly and accelerate. I mean, I can't be accelerating too lightly because most of the time I've got my foot flat on the uh, flat on the accelerator. Right, lead footed, I tell you. Maybe it's because I was taking the mick while uh, I was trying to get a nice picture. I mean, we all love good picky, don't we? Right, where are we going next? I'm sure we go past Potsdamer Platz on this, or is that the 200? I can't remember. I guess we'd better uh, put some indicator on, haven't we? You can see the ICE just going over the bridge in the distance there. You know, every time they add a new bus to this and every time they add a new map, it just gets better and better and better. Again, I don't know if this is going to be the next OMSI, I really don't. But I mean, you've got so much potential with the bus. Out of all the entries so far, this is by far the strongest for a modern bus simulator. In terms of the graphics, they're just absolutely fantastic. And I don't really think, even if you're a hardcore OMSI fan, you can argue with that. The graphics on this are just brilliant. Think about it, I mean, I've bought this. I'd pay for a Munich DLC, I'd pay for, you know, where else might we go, a Prague DLC for the bus. That'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Absolutely fantastic. And I'd be happy to pay that money, because it's fantastic. It, how many times can you say fantastic in a video, Joe? That is the question. But yeah, you know, I'd pay for add-ons for this. Would you? Oh, that's a thing. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if TML can see that I watch this stuff in Aerosoft, but uh, is it Aerosoft that published this? I can never remember. But uh, yeah, of course, if you would pay for DLC, let me know in the comments. And of course, um, let me know what DLC you'd want to see. I mean, like I said, I'd want to see a Munich, because I like Munich buses. Um, Prague, Prague buses with the uh, with the Carozas and things like that. That'd be fantastic. Again, said fantastic again. Oh, Joe. Potsdam as well, because that's not too far from Berlin. Potsdam would be ace, wouldn't it? They'd have to have the Tatras, though. Tatra trams. Not to drive, obviously, but, you know, just, just buzzing about. I'm looking forward to the AI trams here, to be honest with you. And the AI buses. Oh, it's just going to be absolutely ace. Oh, hang on. A bit fast, Joe. A little bit fast. There we go. There we go, look at that for a bit of stopping. I still can't believe I'm flooring it and we're late.
Right, off we go. Mirror is checked. And, uh, and away we go. Oh, hang on. Way. Let's be careful here. We nearly went in that left-hand lane. Oh, okay. Right, I know where we are now. So there should be... Ah, there we go. There's a Reichstag just in front of us. Oh, I've crossed this road. Getting very excited. Um, well, I mean, I think you'll find that was my right of way, you know, when all's said and done. Yeah, we've walked across this road, so the Brandenburg Gate is kind of there. To your right, that's the Reichstag, the government buildings. You've also got more government offices over there. There's a great boat trip and it takes you all past there. It was absolutely lovely to sit in the intense heat with a glass of wine. I've just been told about all of Berlin. Oh, it's, it's just fantastic. I love it. The Reichstag looks ace. Absolutely ace. I mean, you can kind of see the walls are a bit hollow. The, I mean, I'm just smashing the, smashing the heck out of these railings. Yeah, there's a there's a few things you can see that some of the walls the the yeah it needs work, but of course they can get round it because they'll turn around and say it's early access, Joe. You know, it's not finished yet. Yeah, early access. Oh dear, seems like a good idea. Like, oh, I can have this early, but then actually you just think, do you know what? I'd just rather wait a bit longer and you give me a finished game. Do you remember when they used to do that? You'd just buy a game and there wouldn't be any bugs in it. It'd be, you know. Just a finished game. I remember them days. Best game I ever played had to be Simpsons Hit and Run, really. Absolutely had to be. Right, you're going to turn across, aren't you? So we're going to cut in front of this fire engine. There we go. Yeah, it had to be Simpsons Hit and Run. No bugs in that, apart from the bugs that there were. But if you could just gloss over those for a minute. I could do with playing that, couldn't I? Getting like an emulator for the PC playing Simpsons Hit and Run for uh, for my game. I'm sorry, we're in a rush, we're in a rush, we're in a rush. There we go. So we're turning right now. I think, are we joining up with the TXL now? I think we are, aren't we? Because we're, we're coming to Brandenburger Tour. Yeah, I think that this is where uh, the TXL comes down. Or where it came down, of course, because of course since, uh, since Tegel Airport shut, Brandenburg Airport opened. Um, the, the TXL doesn't run anymore because it, it doesn't need to run. They're like that in Germany. If they don't need to run the bus because there won't be anyone on it, they actually get rid of the bus line. Sensible, really, when you think about it, but it one half sad. It's a shame because the only time I actually got on the TXL was before the bus... I think before the bus was even heard about, you know, in terms of this game. Um, so yeah, the first time I actually got on it, I didn't really take that much notice of it, and I'm wishing I had. And then since the bus came out, obviously the TXL disappeared pretty soon after that. I mean, with COVID as well, it's it's a little bit more difficult to, you know, it was difficult to get over to Germany. Um, so yeah, really, really gutted that I didn't pay a bit more attention, but, you know, c'est la vie. Here we go, Brandenburger Tour. You can see the Alexanderplatz TV tower just emerging in front of us there. Wait, get that door clearance on. Oh, ticket, madam, there we go. A, B, single ticket, two euro change. Thank you. And everyone else is just walking through her. Fuck out. There we go, indicate out, nobody coming, so I didn't actually have to cut anyone up today. That makes uh, makes a nice change, doesn't it? There we go, we are absolutely flooring it, cause again, two minutes late the whole way. I'm sure these timetables are achievable if they were just a little bit slacker. Hell, steering wheels absolutely leaping about all over the place. Oh, and of course, you've got the VW Forum on the right there. Oh, look at that. Taurus Bus Simulator advertised. I like that. Yeah, that's a VW Forum. Uh, we have got the Bentley logo. You've got Skoda. You can just see the Seat one there. Oh, oh, he's not ample man, because of course not all of them are. There you go. You've got Skoda again there. Um, yeah, and the VW Forum, I don't really know what that's for. Um, other than we went in there. 
and we went to a cafe because they've got a cafe in there and you can sit and have a cup of coffee and a slice of cake surrounded by VW cars and it was very weird there was just when we went there was just tables randomly dotted about and uh, and you could just have a cup of coffee surrounded by VW, Skoda, Seat uh, cars it was very strange <laughs> I mean it sounds strange it was very strange um, but but there you go uh, so if you're ever in Berlin that's another one to do go and have a cup of coffee surrounded by VW cars why not you believe people would want to go up the Reichstag and have a very expensive lunch in that glass dome on top? Why would you do that when you could uh, sit there with a Seat Me and a Volkswagen up and have a coffee? Sorry, Mr. Taxi Driver, you were panicking then. You thought I were going to wait, you didn't you? Ah, no. Professional bus driver on this one today. Some of my colleagues are very unprofessional at Berlin buses, but uh, no, higher professionalism me. I'm just cutting this corner because it's a little bit sharp. I don't know if it's that sharp in real life. Of course, what you've got to remember is all of this is no longer here. I mean, these big old buildings are. I mean, all this building work. Uh, it's not here anymore. Because that is for the U5, uh, which was the U55. Well, there was the U55 between Brandenburg Tor and Hauptbahnhof. And they were linking this with the U5 at Alexanderplatz, which goes up to... Oh, was it Hono? I think it is. I can't remember, truth be known. Uh, but yeah, it goes up there and they link the two together so you can actually get a train from Alexanderplatz to Hono now, which is uh, which is brilliant. Although the trains, to be fair, the uh, the U-Bahn trains, they never seem that busy on this line. But the stations, it's, it's a bit of a difficult one because the stations are all brand new, they're shiny, they have that new station smell about them. But I love the history of the old stations. You know, you've got loads of little telltale giveaway signs. Oh, is that a U-Bahn? It might be an S-Bahn, you just never know, do you? I think it's you, Ban. Um, but yeah, there's lots of little telltale... Whoa, hang on. Flipping steering wheel. Whoa. This is this is not good. I might need to turn the force feedback down a little bit. Yeah, I'm meant to have power steering. I don't think the game realises this. There we go. Whee. Slam on. Doors are opening. Oh, hang on. £3, yep, yeah, print your ticket. It's good that it keeps it on, so if there's loads of AB tickets, you can just keep banging them out, can't you? There we go, get them doors shut. We'll indicate out while we're here. It takes that long to stop needling. Come on. Off we go. I mean, I don't actually know where this thing turns round. Oh, straight through, look at that. We've got the trams there that go round to the left. To Hackershamarkt. I think, is it the M4 and the M5? Maybe? Yeah, when you see the trams flying up and down here, this is going to look so good. I really am excited. I don't know if you can tell by the fact that I keep mentioning the, uh, the trams. But yeah, trams and AI buses, so you've got all the yellow everywhere. It's just going to look ace, isn't it? It's like London would feel empty without red buses and black taxis, without the yellow buses and the yellow trams. It just kind of feels a bit meh. You know what I mean? There we go. Foot down. Alexander Platz. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, those of you that were saying that is not the correct train for here, uh, they use the, sh the uh, Bombardier 442s. So that is not a 442. Uh, I think someone was saying, oh, no, they do have regional trains. Oh, it's despawned. Yeah, can, can we have it going a bit further around the corner, please, before it despawns? Uh, but yeah, my point is the Regio trains they either use a Doppelstock with the locomotives on, uh, they tend to be on the RE1, or on the RB, is it the RB14 that goes to Nauen? 
I think it is, that uses the hamster drucker, hamster cheeks, because uh, it looks like it's got its cheeks stuffed with whatever hamsters eat. Uh, class 442. Um, somebody was saying, oh yeah, they do use regional trains. You said they didn't use regional trains, and they do. Yeah, I know that, but that, what they put on there as a model, is incorrect uh, for Berlin. It really is. Right, here we go. Oh, here we go. Memhardstrasse. This is at the end of the line. I was so busy getting wound up about the... Uh, the trains being incorrect that I forgot that we were at the end of the line so let's hop out and uh, and there we go I think do we go around the corner and spin around much like the TXL oh brilliant right well there you go that is Berlin on the route 100 again I'm sorry it's a little bit late but uh, obviously I wasn't here if you have enjoyed this please do make sure you click the like button because then the video does better and then you're probably more likely to see the bus videos so if you enjoyed it click the like button it's free to do come on Go on, I'll, I'll literally wait here while you do. Anyway, moving on. Um, still waiting. Uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe as well and click that notification bell because, again, if you are enjoying the bus, then when new videos come out, you'll want to be notified, won't you? There it is. So subscribe, notification bell, click the like button. That's your little checklist. Right, well, there we go. Thank you so much for watching and uh, hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio, everyone. Goodbye for now.